ماما هلا ببيعوا كبة في تريدر جوز مظبوط؟ اه شوفي oh يعني مش معقول مثل ما تسوي في الدار عجيبة اي نو هي ايفري ويلكم تو فيست ان ذا ميدل ايست اي ام هير وذ ماي ماما فيرا اند وي ار جوينغ تو تيست اوت سم ستور بوت ميدل ايسترن فود سبيسيفيكلي وي ار جوينغ تو ستارت وذ تريدر جوز از سيلينغ كبة اي كانت بليفر كبة اي كانت بليفر سو ستيك اراوند جايز وي ار جوينغ تو تيل يو وات وي ثينك Now it's pronounced kubba or kibba, depending on where well, you're from. It depends where you're from. If you're from Lebanon or from Syria, you'll say kibba. But if you're from Palestine or Jordan, uh, you say kubba. My mom said the origin of this particular dish, it's basically a croquette. It's like a meat croquette. Has is originated from where? From, uh, it's Ash Ashuri, it's from Assyria. Okay, Assyria. So uh, my mom, you, you always used to make this only on special occasions because it takes forever to make. I do have the recipe on my channel showing how we make them. We, I used to call them footballs because they're shaped like a football and they're truly my favorite. It's basically meat within meat. So if you don't like meat, you're not gonna like it, but there's like a million kinds of Kubba, right? Yes, now they came up with different variations for yeah. people who are vegetarian, for people who, uh, they, there's like at least 150 kinds of kibbe, Amazing. which is all, you know, different kinds. Sometimes the, from the outside, they will use cracked wheat, sometimes they use rice, sometimes they use potato. Wow. And they use different. pumpkin too. Pumpkin, and they use pumpkin, they use the fish. lentils. Yeah. I mean, I've seen so many variations and they all come from the same idea where they have like this, you don't have to use meat if you're vegetarian, but they have this shell mm -hmm. and then the inside you either stuff it with uh, if you're if you're if you eat meat you stuff it with meat and nuts mm -hmm. or if you and onions mm -hmm. or if you're if you don't like it if you're vegetarian you could stuff it with potatoes with anything you want really basically but um the original one which is the one i love it is. has meat from the outside and meat, meat from in the, the inside. inside leave it to arabs to do meats on the and outside and meat <laughs> there is <laughs> different kinds of cooking it you know uh trader joe's uh just came up with a nice shape i like the shape of the trader joe's one this is the trader this joe's. is a, this is the one that my mom made and this is the one trader joe's made. yeah the trader joe's one comes in a box in the frozen section mom yes yeah yes and um, and you just heat and eat i think it's pre-fried it is i think it's pre-cooked yeah so depending uh if you like to cut calories or if you're you don't mind you want to impress your guests you could either fry it mm -hmm. or boil it or bake it even right yeah. so this particular one we baked it each meatball has 100 calories and seven grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and one gram of fiber. And we are going to put this to the test. I'm really excited. So in terms of, let's, let's both put one of each on our plates, okay? Now we know the fatter one is from Trader Joe's, okay? Um, and just looking at the inside or the outside, Trader Joe's is fatter than the one you make, which yes. is fine. That which means fine. more more for me to eat. Yes. So, so the inside, looks like this. They didn't put pine nuts. So I know in ours, the one that you taught me to make, look at the pine nuts on the inside. Yeah. So that is one key difference. Let's try the Trader Joe's The one. Trader Joe's one? Okay, we're gonna try the Trader Joe's one right here. Okay. I think it's a little bit on the dry side, but the flavor is pretty good. I think it's pretty authentic. Mm. Um. You know what? I think it would pass. I mean, if I was lazy and I didn't want to cook it and I had company coming over, I would certainly serve it. You would? Yes. Okay, so it's getting, I mean, two thumbs up from us, right? Now, like you said, it's a little bit dry. It's a little dry for us, yeah. And uh, nothing that a little hummus can't fix, though. Exactly. <laughs> and um, it's a little bit salty for my yeah, taste. It I is don't almost... like it as salty. I don't like my food too salty. Right. It's a little bit salty. And I notice they use a spice that I, knew, I don't usually use for kibbe. Mm -hmm. But like, maybe other countries do. But that's okay. my own preference. Which spice are you talking about? I'm there's talking paprika, about coriander. Coriander, yeah. So there's allspice, cumin, coriander. And paprika. Yeah. We tend to just use allspice and cumin. Yes, allspice, they put paprika cumin, in here. Isn't and that a weird? Touch, a touch of cinnamon. I use. Okay, a, just a little touch, touch of cinnamon. Because if you overdo it on the cinnamon, it 
it's overpowering but if right. you put like a touch of cinnamon it gives it such a good flavor but you know what for for something that is already available for you to eat anytime you want mm -hmm. and um you know you don't have to spend so much time doing it kitchen. because it is time consuming okay so basically our only gripe is that they use coriander and it's a bit dry but you can fix that you could fry it if you want or you could um you could put it in a special uh, yogurt sauce oh, you, know, okay. lemon. Mm -hmm. you know you you drop it in it and you boil it in it mm -hmm. and it's really good so now we're going to try yours which I, i'm very familiar yeah. with but just to refresh my memory here we go my, my mom is so uh as we say, she's got etiquette, she's got manners. I like to attack with my hands. And... Mm. Mm. I noticed mine has more meat on the inside mm -hmm. and more onions. I like the onions. Some people go away with the onions, mm -hmm. but I like the onions. I think it makes it moist, more moist. And Definitely, uh, it's moist. It's got like a lighter texture, even though it's deep mm -hmm. fried. Mm -hmm. the, the flavors are brighter. Yeah. Like you said, I, I taste her spices, I taste the onion, I taste the meat. Like, yeah. It's like a more harmonious flavor. Like, yeah. It's just, you know, it's a 10 out of 10, whereas Trader Joe's, what would you give it out of 10? I don't think they put any onions, they just use the meat. Yeah. And I don't see any kind of... So Trader Joe's, nuts. up your onion game. If you're not going to put the pine nuts, at least add some onions to lighten it up, right? Well, maybe some people don't like onions. That's why they took it oh. out. You know, they have to please everybody. That's a good point. See, my mom is very business-minded. So, too. yeah, and you know, when you're at home, you cook it according to what your family likes. But if you're trying to make mass productions you have to cater to everybody and That's so the point. onions i know a lot of friends of mine when they see that the food has onions they won't even touch it wow i so. love onions so but yeah bring bring up good points so i I'd, I'd say trader joe's is a seven out of ten what would you give it i definitely seven out of ten that seven out of ten good. okay so yeah. we're tied there but my mom's is 12 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I, this got me thinking you know we know how to make this kind of food better than Trader Joe's let's face it I mean I'm just gonna say it definitely and I, I'm just bummed that we don't have the capital or the bandwidth to do what Trader Joe's does no. now what I want to ask for you viewers if there was one entree that you wish was sold ready-made what would it be can you please leave it in the comments below if there's one thing that you could have mama vera and me make together and mass produce and put it in the store what would it be so in this episode we tackled kibbe and in the next episode we're going to show them what we think about all of these lebanese dishes so we've got uh we've got njadera ready made by cortas this is all vegan and gluten-free guys i make this on the channel uh also bulgur wheat with tomato and onions they also have an eggplant with chickpeas and rich tomato sauce. And finally, we have fasulia, which I also have on my channel. But we're going to see how this compares to the real deal home cooking that we're used to at home. So this is from Lebanon? All These of it. Products. Yeah, they're all from wow. Lebanon. So stick around, guys, for the next episode. Treat yourself or someone you love this Valentine's Day with my hardback cookbook with over 200 pages of authentic Middle Eastern recipes and beautiful photos. Get 15% off between now and Valentine's Day with code VALENTINE15 at feastinthemiddleeast.com.